Now, what started as an eight-day-long mission has stretched to 80 days. Unexpectedly, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore's journey is not ending anytime soon. They are stuck in space because of significant technical issues with Boeing Starliner spacecraft. Now, the astronauts are expected to return home next year. It's going to be in February next year. The Starliner craft, which is parked in the International Space Station, experienced serious technical problems. Boeing Starliner already had been delayed for several years because of setbacks in the spacecraft's development. It wasn't for the first time that the spacecraft made a trip to the space station, of course, but this was the first time that Starliner was crewed. So this raises concerns about its reliability for crewed missions. Now, NASA has made the announcement that Elon Musk's SpaceX is going to bring these astronauts back, and it's going to be under the Crew-9 mission. The mission, which is supposed to take four astronauts, is going to take two instead, and it's going to bring Williams and Wilmore back home. That's the plan. The unexpected long stay and this journey can lead to certain health implications. The astronauts can face what is known as bone density reduction, also possible vision-related issues, and they are at higher risk of cancer because of possible DNA damage. Another significant concern is space anemia. But what exactly is space anemia? When on Earth, gravity plays this very important role in distribution of fluids and blood in the body. But in space, the bodily fluids shift to the head and is impacted by microgravity. It impacts blood volumes and the red blood cell counts. Remember, space anemia is not fatal, but what is noteworthy over here is that the risks are associated with it. Now, this prolonged stay, it can cause also some fatigue, it can cause weakness, it can cause decreased exercise capacity. And another long-term effect can be increased risks of heart disease. So overall, it raises several questions about the long-term sustainability of crewed missions in space. With the expected successful return now of Williams and Wilmore in February 2025, it's also important to ask if this is going to serve as a wake-up call for the space industry to address the technical challenges more proactively. And that's something that will be very closely watched. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.